Right, okay. We'll be looking at this drawing for to be able to apply double extrude. The first thing that I can see here is that this shape is the most appropriate shape to draw. These are only sectioned uh, views of the shape here. So on here we can see that this view is on section line AA, as you can see there. That view there, and then the view at the bottom is on section line BB. You can see the arrows is also showing downward, downwards towards the uh, section. Okay, let's analyze the drawing. When I'm, go I'm going to start to draw this first, and then that, and that, and all these will be filled in afterwards. And then I'll explain my extrusions, what I'm going to do. Okay, let's go for the drawing. Start from the center, one and two, and let's dimension. I can see that we're having a diameter of 68 and 36. Okay, bring it back into perspective. Now on this very line here is another two circles. I know that on these lines here, make sure you're straight on the on this line. Click and draw, and click and draw. Let's dimension. We have forty-four and twenty-four. Forty-four, and then we have twenty-four, and we also have a distance between these two circles. The distance is 112. And then above, we also have another two of these circles. Straight on that line there, we're having one. And then a small circle in the center. I'm going to dimension this. We're having a radius there of 18, but diameter-wise, it's 36. And then we have the inside as diameter 16. We also have a distance between the two. Distance from the circle there to the bottom. 1, 2, 8. Enter. And now I'm going to start to draw my two point rectangle. Clicking on there, going over. Once it touches at that point, I'm coming down, and then I'm clicking. Okay, we also have uh, the rectangle needs to go way down right to the bottom, as I can see. There it goes. And the width of this rectangle, just to make sure it's right, it's 36, that's fine. Let's make sure that we have a tangent at these points. Very nice. There as well. And I'm going to put two lines down. We're having a line coming from this point there, right at this point, going straight across. I'm going to tangent it afterwards. I just need to make sure what I've done there, it's nicely connected. Let's put it in another line. Okay, that's what we have, and let's do our tangent thing. One and two, one and two, one and two. If you're having trouble with getting these two central centralized, and then what uh, what you need to do is click on one dot, then the next, and then go out to the side where it's vertical or horizontal, and you just type zero. That will constrain the sketch. Let's go and trim. upwards we can also trim this part out and then we have a line at this point here 
nice line there going straight across to that point and the distance from there to there is uh, 70 minus we've got 18 it will give you about 52 it will give you 52 okay now I want you guys to pay care careful attention I'm going to start with the cylinders first I'm going to go E for extrude I'm going to click on the cylinder and I'm going to go double it's important to be able to keep in the center the distance for this extrusion can be seen on your drawing right here there's your cylinder if we go straight across we can see that the length is 128 and let's type it in okay once you've extruded that we're going to the left this is called your browser bar click on the plus sign right click on sketch and click share sketch now you can extrude all the way right let's go for the next cylinder E for extrude I'm clicking on it I'm gonna go double so that everything can be in the center let's go back to the sketch I can see the small cylinder there straight across going down I can see it has to be extruded by 48 that's fine we've got that one then I'm gonna say E for extrude again and I'm gonna go click on this rib and that rib and I'm convinced they have the same size I'm gonna go for double and uh, looking at the drawing I can see that this rib there at the bottom is 16 here's the rib and this rib there is 16 as well so let's type in 16 and say enter okay let's say okay next thing I'm going to extrude is this part here now please read with me this drawing going back to the drawing that's that part we have extruded one two three and four now we have this section here going straight across I can see there's two of them there's it's a fork I can see it makes a U shape okay so there we have it going straight across we can see it's a U shape so it's two of them so my initial extrusion will be 20 plus 28 plus 20 and then I will go back to cut in with another 20 so my first double extrude is going to be 68 so E for extrude and I'm going to go double this value needs to be 68 okay press E for extrude again go and select the shape one more time double and we're looking at cutting into it 28 as you can see here on the drawing there we have 28 we're going to need a recess of 28 there so uh, going back and I'm going to say cut that's what we're going to do we still need a the drawing needs to be uh, have a line 16 millimeter high there let's go get put it in I'm gonna double click on the sketch here and I'm going to put in my my line there which is 16 millimeters in distance from there so there's my line that's the dotted line remember if you're gonna double extrude you need to put in dotted lines as solid lines so my dotted line is 16 millimeters from there as you can see on the sketch there there's the dotted line if you go straight across that height there is 16 millimeters so let's say right click finish you need to right click and finish once you go back and edit the sketch right click finish I'm gonna press E for extrude there's my 28 selecting my shape and I'm gonna go for double and I'm clicking cut that right there is my cut so you can extrude the total distance and then cut back into it this is what double extrude does it saves you time to be able to finish your drawing and now okay 
it's the final drawing. If you don't like the dimensions showing, you can right click on sketch and click on visibility. If somebody needs to mark this drawing, right click on sketch, click on visibility. Let's give it a color. Let's say nylon. And there we have it. Right, done. Save this one. And I'm just going to save it as a P1. Double extrude. Save. 